can you experience this? What restaurant serves up this plateful? Eggs, been next to hash browns, or the uh, sausage and gravy, or the classic. And what city has a room just for these? Okay, so that one may have given it away. Don't go away, because we're showing you the best of the Bay. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Champion never ends For every season there's Another reason for you to come discover Wisconsin Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. I'm Emmy Fink. Today we're visiting Wisconsin's oldest city, but Green Bay is certainly not showing its age. Whether you're visiting one of their historic sites, tasty restaurants, or family fun attractions, you're bound to find something new. Like right here at beautiful Bay Beach Amusement Park. Bay Beach and the city of Green Bay sit along a Lake Michigan Bay, also called Green Bay. Remember when a fun family day at the amusement park didn't cost a fortune? Well, Bay Beach still remains one of those places with no admission, free parking, and rides starting at 25 cents. Although some of the bigger rides may cost a little bit more. If you love roller coasters, then you'll love the Pippin Pippin. And you can't beat the price. It's a this classic wooden roller coaster is said to have been the King of Rock's favorite ride. That's right, Elvis Presley often rented out the park in Memphis, Tennessee to ride this coaster without being bothered by fans. Well, Green Bay purchased the design and naming rights to the Zippin' Pippin and built a new version right here at Bay Beach. And yes, it only costs $1 to ride. To see my entire Zippin' Pippin' adventure, just head to discoverwisconsin.com and search for your destination, Green Bay. That was awesome! If you ask anyone in the world what they know about Green Bay, they'll undoubtedly say, duh, it's the home of the Packers. Even this historic franchise occasionally adds new items to their Hall of Fame, and we're always expecting more. Witnessing the connection the team has to the community is awe-inspiring. Come to Green Bay in summer, and you'll still see Packers players riding children's bikes across the parking lot to Ray Nitschke Field for practice. Explore the history between the Packers and the community by visiting the Neville Public Museum. This permanent exhibit complements the many rotating exhibits, offering new looks at art and culture every time you visit. No, that's not the lunch whistle. That iconic sound can be heard throughout the day at the National Railroad Museum. Tour many trains from different eras, including this big boy. No, seriously, this one's called Big Boy, the world's largest steam locomotive. Plus, you can always hop aboard and take a ride for yourself. To truly immerse yourself in the history of the Green Bay area, there's one destination that's been welcoming visitors since 1977. But what you'll experience dates back to the days of Wisconsin's fur traders. You see, at Heritage Hill State Historical Park, you don't view history, you actually get to live it. Churn butter, scrub clothes, or partake in a good old-fashioned line dance, all while being guided by interpreters from the era. We've only begun to scratch the surface of everything the Green Bay area has to offer. And if you want to see more of the Zippin' Pippin' at Bay Beach, just log on to discoverwisconsin.com and choose Green Bay as your destination. Coming up, we're slowing it down a bit as we explore some breathtaking scenery and natural areas. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a ruin of a spring house. And we'll taste something special. Everybody gets to eat this tree. You guys hungry this morning? We'll be right back. It's the best of Green Bay right now on Discover Wisconsin. Green Bay's new zoo promotes recreation, education, and conservation through encounters with live animals. So we stopped in to see something, well, new. Meet Al and Tootie, a couple of Aldabra tortoises. With a lifespan of up to 152 years, these two should be around to see your grandchildren's children. Across the street from the amusement park we visited earlier in the show, 
Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary is the second largest wildlife rehabilitation area in Wisconsin, caring for over 4,500 orphan and injured animals a year. One of their new attractions that benefits the animals greatly also provides a great photo opportunity. 3,000 gallons of water fall 18 feet every minute, creating a picturesque setting. But it also serves an important function of circulating water through the lagoons for the fish and fowl who call it home. You may also want to know there is no charge to come see the waterfall and all these animals. That's right, it's free to visit. Continue an educational journey of Green Bay's natural areas with a visit to the L.H. Barkhausen Waterfowl Preserve. Barkhausen is a park that was donated to Brown County back in 1955. Uh, public park, one of our county parks, 920 acres. Um, we offer three primary objectives. One would be uh, outdoor education, the second would be resource management, and then third would be uh, passive recreation. Over nine miles of scenic hiking trails run through the marsh and forest land all beginning at the West Shores Interpretive Center. No telling what student field trips and families might discover in the preserve, especially if you can get a guided tour. Let's all put our eyes on this big tree right here. And we're gonna start by using our sense of tasting. Everybody gets to eat this tree. <laughs> Tastes like a sucker. I like it. Continue to explore other natural areas scattered throughout the Green Bay area. The geology and topography will certainly create educational as well as inspirational memories. Meander along a 400 million year old formation at Bayshore Park. The Niagara Escarpment runs westward from New York through Canada and Michigan and into Wisconsin. This section offers a five mile walking trail with an assortment of flora and fauna lining your path. Extend your stay by packing a tent or camper and stay right in the park. We have uh, 82 uh, water and electric sites here. We have 25 rustic sites with no water and electricity. We're so close to Green Bay, 20 minutes from Green Bay and maybe 15 or 20 from Sturgeon Bay. So we're right in the middle almost and, and people don't even realize we're here. The park also provides access to the Bay of Green Bay with its sand and rock beach and public boat launch. So don't forget to trailer up your boat. Download a map of all Brown County parks by visiting our website and choosing Green Bay as your destination. For many homeowners, your garden is as important as the inside of your house. Well, the Green Bay Botanical Garden inspires those of us with a green thumb and entertains families and kids of all ages. But it's more than flowers. The displays tie in local history and architecture as well. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a ruin of a spring house tried to tie into the old architecture of the site, which was an apple orchard, and create something here as an entrance that would look like it might have been here back in the past. And they used to store produce and fruit in a structure like that. So can you tell me a little bit about this beautiful building? Yes, this building is actually made from old barn timbers. And what's really interesting about the construction is it's mostly mortise and tenon construction, which is the pegs that hold it together. So it really has hardly any screws or metal except for what was required by the code of the city of Green Bay. Of course, Mark, this is a beautiful setting, but there's so much more to see. Yeah, there's 20 acres of developed gardens here. We have 25,000 plants of 2,500 different cultivars, the beautiful structures throughout the facility. It's just a magical place to come and visit. And that magic lasts all year. Around the holidays, they transform the gardens into a winter wonderland with their Garden of Lights. To see more photos from the Garden of Lights, just visit discoverwisconsin.com and choose Green Bay as your destination. Coming up, my stomach's beginning to growl, so we'll find out where you can order up this heaping plate of breakfast goodness. And later, we'll discover plenty of activities to work off the calories. Stay tuned. We're back, experiencing life near the bay on Discover Wisconsin. Spend any amount of time in the Green Bay area and you're sure to find some great places to eat. Whether you're down by the river sampling a sandwich or near the stadium diving into a butter burger, Green Bay is noted as a diner's delight. So where do we start? <laughs> Breakfast, of course. Come on in. 
The Pancake Place has been serving up their special recipes for over 30 years. And while they're open all day, you'll quickly see why breakfast is served anytime. So Teresa, one of the fan favorites here at the Pancake Place are the stuffed cash browns. Five variations. Can we just see a couple of them? What's inside? Absolutely. Um, I'd love to show you. Um, we're going to do our classic stuffed hash browns for you. We're going to throw down some hash browns here. We go through about 1,400 pounds of potatoes a week. Our white russets come right from Curvitz area. And we peel, boil, and grind them all on our own. Inside those are sauteed onions, green peppers, and ham, two eggs of your, or your liking, some American cheese. And then we're gonna top them off with some more hash browns, because that's why they're called stuffed hash browns. You better come hungry, because this isn't a side order of hash browns. It's a full meal. I think this customer said it best. But if you go home hungry, it's your own fault. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have time to show you the Pancake Place's other specialty, so we created a bonus video for our website on how they make their plate-sized flavored pancakes. Yum! Order up! There are so many great places to eat around the Green Bay area, and we have a lot more to do, so we decided to stop in for lunch at the Greystone Ale House in De Pere, one of the area's newest restaurants. I ordered the signature Greystone burger and a side of hot wings. Thank you. It looks delicious. Let's get right to it. When the owners opened Greystone in 2010, there were two things they really wanted to focus on. Passionate about beer, so we have 18 tap beers plus a huge bottle selection, um, and good food. Cornerstones being the, the pizzas and the wings and the burgers. We stepped into the kitchen to see how some of these outstanding dishes are prepared. Besides being able to choose from 15 flavors of wing sauces, the health conscious or allergic will appreciate this option. All right, I'm gonna make these wings gluten-free. We have three fryers right here. This one on the side is strictly for gluten-free items. After all that food, it was time to take a little walk. We happened to be in Green Bay on a Wednesday, so we made a stop at Farmer's Market on Broadway. Well, Farmer's Market tends a little bit of a misnomer, but we actually have art, we have sculpture, we've got food products, we've got locally created products and services. It's really a festival, a community gathering place. Did I hear him say food? Um, yes, I did. Walking down the street, there's farm fresh produce, street fair, and one of my absolute favorites, kettle corn. To hold me over until dinner, I stopped at a small deli on Broadway for a quick snack, which turned out to be a remarkable sandwich. I realize we've talked a lot about food already, but there's one more place we need to sample before we discover more of Green Bay. So while we're here in Titletown, USA, I hear one of the best places for sushi is Coco. And we're here with Ryan, the head sushi chef. And you're going to teach me how to make the packer backer roll. We are in Titletown. Let's do it. All right. OK, we're going to start off uh, right here. This is uh, soy paper. It gives it that green and gold look. Well, of course. Looks so. good. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to start out and pushing the rice to the edge, making sure not to smash it down. So now we're just going to have a couple wedges of avocado. Beautiful. And then the cucumber, and we'll just place two wedges like so. All right, so what really stands for the green in the packer backer roll, the cucumber or the avocado? Ah, uh, we're gonna go with the avocado. Some more green, green, yes. Makes All sense. Right. Slice of mango, if I can get it out, there we go. For the yellow. Okay, so Ryan, we have the green, we have the gold, we're missing what? The salmon. The salmon. All right, so we're just gonna take your piece of salmon, just lay it right on top of there. And here comes the fun part, which is rolling. So what you're gonna wanna All right, so I don't think Ryan has to worry about me taking over as a sushi chef. Most people leave it to the pros when they stop at Coco's to sample their sushi creations and unwind in the tranquil atmosphere. Oh, after this segment, I don't think I can eat another bite. But if we've whet your appetite, just head to discoverwisconsin.com and choose Green Bay as your destination to search for more places to dine in the area. After this short break, we're working off the calories by finding some fun recreational spots. It's the best of the Bay today on Discover Wisconsin. Earlier, we visited many of Green Bay's natural areas. Now, we're going to combine natural areas with a little recreation. 
It is a perfect day for some frolfing, AKA disc golf or frisbee golf. And we're here today at the Triangle Sports Area. I'm with some of the guys from the UWGB Disc Golf Club, and they're gonna teach me a few things about the game. So Andy, what's the number one thing I need to know about disc golf? Well, I'd have to say um, just a smooth throw, just a nice follow through and don't release in a jerky motion and you should have a clean throw right to the basket, so. Easy as that? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't that easy, but at least we were all having fun. And I didn't actually lose any discs. Getting into disc golf isn't that expensive either. Just pick up a few discs and head on out. Some courses, like the 18 holes here, are free to play. And I've been told that this is one of the premier courses in the state utilizing the area's natural terrain, making it as scenic as it is challenging. The Triangle Sports Area is also referred to as Baird Creek and encompasses a trail system for cross-country skiing, hiking, and mountain biking. Well, what we're doing with the trails right now is we're trying to just basically bring them back to what they originally were. A lot of these trails were built by Warba, and we're basically going back and restoring the original bench cutting, making it flatter, making it much more rideable, making it much more fun to ride. The Green Bay area's mountain bike trails range from intermediate to advanced riding here at Baird Creek to flatter beginner trails out at the reforestation camp. Either way, there's no reason to leave the bikes at home when you visit Green Bay. One way to experience Green Bay is by taking a walk along the Fox River Trail where you can experience the area's riverfront attractions. The trail passes by the Hazelwood Historic House Museum, one of the earliest homes in the area. However, walking alongside the Fox River for so long, you may just get the itch to get out on the water yourself. And why not? It's one of Green Bay's most valuable assets. Our area is great based on the weather. Uh, you know, if you live on Lake Michigan, if you have a howling wind, you're pretty much not going boating that day. Um, whereas here, you've got great days out on the water, um, out to Longtail, you can go out, you know, Eagle's Nest out that way. If the, if the waves are a little bit too rough, the river's a great, great place just to kind of putt-putt along. So it, it kind of gives you the ability to uh, boat regardless of the weather, which is, in Wisconsin, is a good thing. <laughs> South Bay Marina provides a sensible location to begin your seafaring adventure. With permanent and transient slips, you can become a member of their community and enjoy all the amenities they offer. However, you may just want to spend as much time as possible on the water. As you make your way downriver, you'll pass one of downtown Green Bay's newest gathering places, City Deck. This four block destination is a way to experience downtown and the river, and it hosts several events throughout the year. We stop by for Fridays on the Fox to end our Green Bay tour with a celebration of food and live entertainment. with its vibrant nightlife, natural untouched area, and preserved historic sites. Get to know more of Green Bay by keeping up with their ever-expanding calendar of events, just like Fridays on the Fox, by visiting discoverwisconsin.com. I'm Emmy Fink, and join me next week as we discover more of Wisconsin with you. You know, Wisconsin is filled with so many exciting things to do. So travel Wisconsin and find out for yourself. There's a destination just waiting to be discovered by you. For more information and bonus video from the episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. While you're there, click on the Kadiddle link to watch entire episodes from this season or past seasons. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. One, two, three, roll! Oh, we're not actually throwing.